Yeah, what's going on? Got a lot of games I wanna play and stream here. This is one of my favorites. Very hard. So I'm gonna try to do this game without uh, without uh, arena spamming. I'm gonna see how far I can get without it. Because this game gets really hard. So, uh, I used to arena spam. Arena spam to make my, uh, and my, uh, leveling up much better. And even then, I still struggled at the end of the game. So, I don't know if it's possible, but I'm gonna try. So, we'll see. Uh, there's no Japanese characters. Okay. Um. Yes, I want to use these settings. There's a lot of text on this game. <laughs>
this this game has good music. So on easy, um, you're pretty much guaranteed to win the first round. But if you play this on hard, you can definitely die on the very first chapter. So I would know. I've, uh, I've beaten the game on hard before. I like the way they do the stats too. So there is a weapon triangle. Uh, swords beat axe, axe beats lance, lance beats sword. Um, but there are some cases where that doesn't even matter. Starting out, it's pretty. Yes, see on easy they don't let you choose what you want to do, you have to attack. But yeah, you're pretty much guaranteed to win the first one. Uh, it is possible to uh, for the game to glitch, so I had that happen too. If for some reason, you do end up dying, the game will freeze because it's not supposed to happen. So. decide to play this game, it is very, 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 very important to level up the lords. They are the main characters, and the time will come where 
basically they have to survive every board. The time will come where they have to survive and you definitely need to be using them. So, definitely want to keep that in mind. Oh, hi y'all. Beauteous one. <laughs> Home to men of passion and fire. Wow, he is really trying, huh? decent man. <laughs> Pursued. Mm. 
than this. What did you call me? That is a scar. Oh, I did play the last. The last time I played this, I played it in Japanese, so I can. I'm thinking it. I can tell. Remembering some of the characters I saw. Take care of this. No, this is my fight. Stay out of my way. Hey there, Amandus. I am Kent. We will follow your orders in this battle. You must show. Funny thing is, if at the beginning you choose, you make your person a uh, female, he'll try to flirt with you here at this, at this dialogue. <laughs> he'll try to, he'll be more trying to impress you instead of the This is actually quite hilarious. Man is defeated, your journey is over, as is your game. Other blue units are beaten, the game will continue. The fallen companions will be unable to return to battle for the rest of the tutorial. Use caution and good judgment. All blue units have been moved about now because the enemy turned great. So, same. Eh, you'll see. Remember that weapon triangle I told you about? He's trying to go up against an axe with a lance. Very low hit percentage. See the arrows pointing up and pointing down? He's got the disadvantage with the lance. Oh, oops, I skipped some dialogue. Basically, you can't reprimand it saying, saying, you always need to be prepared for battle. Weapons possess a unique hierarchy. Swords, best axes, axes, best lance, lances, best swords. This is called a weapon triangle. Remember this is of most importance. And then there are exceptions to this, but we'll get into that. So yeah, the dialogue basically, Ken is like saying you've lost your mind and he gives him one of his iron swords he has. Yes, and also abiding by the weapon triangle also allows you to have lower chance of getting hit as well. So you see she's in the forest, makes it extra hard to get a hit, and he, so where he would normally have maybe a 40-ish percent chance of hitting, it's now 60%. So I will try to use the advantage of the terrain also. So there's a lot that goes into this game. A lot of thought. Sorry, give me another chance when I got Shimasu. You see, I'm trying I was trying to put him in the forest, but he's still trying to show off he's not correct. So they see the big difference there, so four he has a 4% chance of doing 46 compared to if 
he had a lance, his hit percentage would go up by 30, and Sam's would drop by 20. Ah, Sam, are you alright? I was able to dodge in time. I can't believe he evaded my sword strike so easily. Look closely, the enemy is hidden in the woods. The branches make it difficult to attack, don't they? Your lack of attention may someday cost you your life. You truly understand and act like it. But yes, so each type of terrain has unique characteristics. Woods and plains. Battle an enemy from the woods, and the enemy will likely miss you. Likely, but not 100%. However, your attacks will be unimpeded, giving you a distinct advantage. The same is true for foes. If an enemy is in the woods, he is more difficult to hit as well. Hmm. Factoring in your terrain benefits in the weapon triangle is vital in combat. So, yeah, so it's really something you want to keep an eye out for. Yeah, so Cavaliers are pretty cool because they can use both swords and lances. It's pretty awesome. Also, uh, the woods do hinder your movement as well. So, uh, where you may be able to use move five space, it could be uh, shortened to three, depending on how much, how many spaces it would. Uh, I was thinking of giving you a bonary, but it looks like you're fine. So never mind. No, oh, wait, I'll take it. Please, I'll take it. <laughs> so yeah, you can also trade items. The healing power of love awaits you, angel. Sorry, no longer. Hard, there's no directions at all, so you can keep some of those things. So basically, if this was hard, I would have given that other iron sword to Lin, and I would have kept staying in the back until I was able to get another iron sword. Yeah, and so if, you, if someone is riding a horse after they've traded whatever they can, you can. So, they haven't used all of their spaces. So yeah, he's got one space left over. So I'm just going to keep him... Uh, let me see. I'm gonna move him down so the guy will fill in.
Yeah, I'm just gonna have her wait. Um, let me see. I'll put her here. I had a feeling he was going to go for Sane because he was on the plane. Did that on purpose to draw him out, and now I can get back in the forest and attack him. So, try to draw this guy out a little bit here. Oh yeah, you can also see where their move limitations are. So you see how normally let me see where's my button R. Okay. So move right here is seven. But if you're around a bunch of forests it changes. So like I would like for him to move here. But because of all of the woods, it's cut short. One, two, three, four, five. Technically, I should be able to move there, but the forest hinder movement when you're on a horse. So, uh, I just, I'll move him up here for now. And then Sam, I'll put him here. is at level 1, and this is at 2, Saiyan is at 1. So I like to get Lin to level as close as I can to level 20 as possible. Um, doesn't always happen though, so. You want to level up everyone, but Lin is really important. You can also, uh, oh, music changes when you're down to one left. So what I'm going to do now, you can do rescue, and you can travel with someone, so I'm going to do that. I can't remember if this guy moves or not. I can't remember if he moves or not. I don't think he does. He doesn't have what's called a hand axe, so he can't hit me indirectly. So, I'm going to put. In. Oh, she can go in the mountains, that's right. Not yet. So I'm gonna have Lin here and Sane here. And then I'll swap them out if I need to. Always tampering in others' affairs. Oh, see that time you hit her. So a low hit percent chance at chance does not mean that you will not get hit. It just means that it's not as likely. So, uh, in my experience, I have been KO'd with a 1% chance. So, it can happen. So, yeah. So, it's very possible that she, uh, if I attack with her, she'll miss the first hit and then get the second one, but I don't want to risk it. Because like the objectives tell you, the objectives, does it tell you? Is that L, is that L or R? R, okay, yeah. Um, objectives, I actually forgot where they are. 
It's defeat enemy in the bottom right corner, but ultimately, regardless of what happens, like if these two KO, as long as she survived, you could go still go to the next chapter. So. Right, so the only time when you for sure will get hit is if you have the only for sure time you can you will definitely hit someone is if you have a hundred percent hit rate. And the only time you will for sure be missed is if you have a zero percent hit rate. If the enemy has a zero percent hit rate, they will definitely not hit you. And if you have a hundred percent, they will definitely not miss your attack. You were going to share your story this time. Yes, we have ventured... And as messengers to the Lady Madeline, who eloped with the Nomad some 19 years ago. Madeline? Here's where the plot thickens. She's been living on the plains, but she's been royalty. He called me Lindis too. What? How could he have... He was a henchman of Lord Lundgren, wasn't he? The Marquess's younger brother. You see that? Everything that happens in mankind always repeats itself. Just like Cain and Abel, just like Romulus and Remus. Your existence is an obstacle to your grand uncle's ambitions. Now, obviously, he had dark intent. If my existence is a threat to you, you have a serious problem. So now she's going to team up with them and where we end up. It's 
going to be so dangerous. They'll come, are you sure? Oh, Tony Arigato! We ask you once again for your friendship and your aid. Oh, how quaint. <laughs> Stay where you are and hold your tongue. Threaten me as you will, but I would not give up the many cutting. Sacred blade under divine protection. Not be removed from its place of rest. You're a fool, old man. What is a sword if you don't use it? Use it in combat? Sacrilege. this? I can't draw the sword from its scabbard. The spirits of the blade have judged you. You have been found wanting, and they have rejected you. <laughs> Mendes, what are you planning? I hope to go to the police cave you'll need to prepare. You're right. Say, it's hurry. There are some homes to the south of us. Perhaps we should go there and question the residents. So yeah, they put a lot of thought into this game. All of the Fire Emblem games a lot of thoughts always enjoyed them. So, I already know what these houses say in the wisdom that they have to offer, I already know it, but because of it being uneasy, playing it through the first time, I have to and bypass it. Oh, you're going to help the priest. Well, perhaps you could somehow benefit from something I saw earlier. Bandits may have the main entrance there. However, one of the altar's walls is cracked and in repair. Might be able to create another entrance by hitting that section with your weapons. We're all counting on you. So, this is the wall they're talking about. This is very helpful and very useful. And in other parts of the game, it's something you need to be careful of. Also, so you said we have the forest like normal, you get one extra defense and an extra 20 avoid. The forest gives you extra 2 defense and 20 avoid, and if you're on that spot for the following turn, you also heal HP, so that's pretty cool. Mountains make it more difficult to get it. But they're difficult to traverse. If you're riding on horseback, you can't cross them at all. Be careful. So. 
Yeah, you can or you can. Depends on how many moves you have left. So. This visit isn't necessary for combat purposes, right? However, sometimes they do have these things to say. It's very true. And also sometimes you can uh, have cutscenes that are very informative to the uh, to the end of the game too. Yep, there it is. So, fortresses, yeah. Offer more protection than woods do, adding more space in the fortress is beneficial. This holds true for friend and foe alike. Keep this in mind on your journey, so. Also allow injured units to regain their points. You regain some HP at the end of your turn, like 3 to 5, something like that. It's pretty small. As long as you remain in a fortress, you are great HP every turn, so full recovery is possible if necessary. Because I've played this game for many times, I know Saints, um, Saints' speed and skill is lower than Kent's, so he went after Kent because the fortress gave him that much of an advantage. Yes, so the enemy on this board has, as you see, he has a sword. Oh, he said level C. Ooh, it's really early too, that's good. Um, yeah, so he has a sword. So, for this particular boss, both, especially Saiyan in this case, the Kent as well, because he also has the Iron Lance, be very useful against him. Oh yeah, and I went to, so you have status, it tells you everything you need to do for the chapter. You're always outnumbered, so get used to it, and it gets much worse. Um, R gives you info and everything. That screen that I was at before, under options, so you can turn off the animation if you want to. You can make the game speed fast, tech speed fast, slow, max, however you want. You can turn it on or off. You don't really need to see everything, but you can. So, let's do the music. I like the green window color. So bandits are one of the um, characters in this game that can travel through the mountain. You see down here, this guy, you just move from here, that's a mountain. So particularly axe users can do that, like uh, like also fighters can, but uh, we'll see about that in the next chapter.
So the lance is stronger than the sword. So the one thing you want to be careful of, the last, the item that you use that turn is the item that you will have equipped. So you see the sword does 13 and the lance does 15. If you do break that wall down that turn, make sure that the following turn you have someone with a sword you can go in front of them. See, the only danger about that is this pillar here, pillars also offer an advantage. So it's just something to keep in mind. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna let, knock down this wall with the lance. So the windows can't move that far, but can't can because of his cavalry movement. So he's on the pillar. Sane still has his lance out. This guy can walk around and attack him. So, put him in front. And of course he goes for her, because she has less strength, less defense. But she's got enough speed to handle her own. Pull this guy out real quick. Oh, I've got a better idea. Is he in a forest? He's not in a forest. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do for this guy down here... Do this. Now, supposedly, the guy on the throne does not move. But as the game progresses, he can, and he does, and he's very dangerous. So you do want to keep your eyes out for that. You see, he did hit me that turn, even though I had the advantage, so it doesn't make you invulnerable, it just helps you. So this guy, because of his speed, he's probably going... Oh, nope, never mind. Same speed as 7. Everyone's higher than I remember. So I can do 11 to his 3. So I'm going to have him wait there. And uh, Linda, you see, she can do... She can hit him twice, but he doesn't. So I'm just going to keep her in the back. So Kent's almost at level 3, Mendes is at level 3, going on 4, and he's at level 2. So we get Sane a level up here. Yeah, sometimes you get that. That's true. So yeah, everyone can have a maximum of five items.
And the goal of the chapter is cease the throne. This is something that can only be done by a lord. Cease. Blades pattern to pray for a safe journey. Well done, idiot. It's the line. You are its rightful owner. Effortlessly. This is the Manikati laid with no equal. But Madeline's daughter is still alive. Uh, I'm still hungry. The girl is traveling with Kid the same. What are your orders? If you let them be, ah. I've heard that Northern Burn is full of bandits. She's just a girl. She'll not survive her journey here. I'm more concerned with my older brother. His life must be ended quickly. Poison. There must be no blunders. Yes, Lord. He suspects nothing and continues to drink it. Craziness. Family member wants to see you, the other one wants you dead. Still quite a ways to go before we get there. The list of which are intolerable. Here's where you meet probably one of the coolest units that you can have on your team, but also one of the most vulnerable if you're not careful. Survivor bandits came at night. It's only one night. The survivors numbered less than ten, including me. Their soul is beasts. I will never forgive them. Never. I'm not running away. I'll be back someday. I'll be stronger. 
I will break their swords beneath me like twigs beneath Italian stallion's hooves. I will avenge my people. I'll do everything in my power. Wait right there, little lady. What are you going to do? Apologize, huh? Uh, I... That is... I... She's going to kill you, honey. But the boss gave a pretty penny for her. She roughed me up a bit, so I figure your fair is fair. It's no more than she deserves. I... I... Don't you dare touch her! Do what you will with me. Just let her go. Please, I beg of you. Take a second, I'll be found in Ilya. They're a rare beast worth more than you by far. You can sell it for a mountain of gold. Let it go? Ha! Huh? No, you can't. Well, let's move. It's this. Be on your guard, Lindus. There seems to be some sort of promotion over there. Pegasus, could it be? Lorena? Is that you, Lorena? Ah, Lynn! Lorena! What are you doing in a place such as this? Is, is it really you? I... No, no crying. I'm in the sight. But does she know? Uh, how does it go? Kanoja, Kanojo, wa, ashi no kutomo dashi ba ya. Kanojo wa forurina desu. What happened here? Well, when I heard that you had left, I decided to follow you. Then I saw this village. I flew down to ask if they had news. I didn't see these two anymore. Did your Pegasus land on them? Well, I... a little. <laughs> she admits her fault. She stopped the my friend and now she's gotta pay. Did you apologize? Yes. I told them I was sorry many times over. They just wouldn't listen. Obviously sorry, can't we just let this pass? No chance, girl goes with us by force if need be. Oh boy. And reasonableness at its peak. We've got to fight back. The Pegasus might hurt you. You can fight, can't you? Right. We're facing bandits. They are underlings, but we can't take them too lightly. Let's clear them out of here. Because that... ...and holds true for a foe. If we use these walls, just so, they may ensure our victory. So when so now we have here these are villages. Uh, sometimes you can find items or you can meet new people. Uh, the goal of a bandit, one of them, their goal is to destroy them before you get there. If they get to the village before you do, uh, whatever event was going to happen, you miss out on it. So that could be getting a new person, or getting a rare item. So as you go through the game, it gets a little bit harder because they make it to where it's very difficult for you to... Uh, how do I say that? Yeah, throughout the game they make it to where you have to choose between saving your team or trying to save the village. So it gets pretty intense.
When you hear this song, you want to smile. My traveler sorts to mind if I fight with you. Not at all. We need all the help we can get. Welcome aboard, Will. He's an archer, so if you like, uh, I've always been a fan of archery. So. Uh, so they can attack more than one space away, and they cannot attack up close. So if someone attacks them, they're defenseless for that turn. Yeah, indirect combat. There's no fear of counterattack yet. If someone moves the text, moves next to you and attacks, that's dead. I don't even should be a command of the help. So the archers in general are so handy. Yeah, Pegasus Knights can fly. That's what makes them amazing. They can move over any Terran type. They aren't slowed down by force. But they get the benefit of it. So if this was hard, I would move here. Because that's a mountain. So Slim Lance is a little bit weaker than an Iron Lance but it has a higher critical rate. Knowing your units and their abilities and knowing how to use them in a battle is a shortcut to the degree. It's very true. speed was high enough to go attack twice on the air. Again, if you are up close on the on an archer, they cannot counterattack. So you do want to use that one. I had a feeling he was gonna move there, so I have a plan for that. There's an archer. Oh, that's well. Yeah, she's coming around men, and you gotta go. Yes. So, Pegasus Knights are the bomb, but a bow can take them out very, very easily. Very easily. So, and it also gives a bow, an archer also talking, uh, attacking a Pegasus Knight increases their crit rate as well. I would say Pegasus Knight, that's probably their main weakness, other than that they're bleeding. That will that in the weapon triangle. If I had let that guy get to the village, we wouldn't have been able to get that 2,000 gold. So let's see, we can go twice. We can, but he's also in the forest, so it's very possible that he might miss. See the hit rate, the uh, hit rate decreases with the lance, so the sword in general has better aim. In the forest, does it make you invulnerable? It just makes it harder. To do. So we're gonna put him here. 
Always remember to equip the item you want. items here so we have so I am gonna buy her an iron lance just so that she has it and I think for right now that's all we need These guys have a sword, right? Both of them do. After a while, you get used to which two is about. So. An iron lance. I'm gonna sell that one honorary just to have an extra spot. I wonder if I should buy another sword. No, I should be good for now. So you see right here, the Slim Lance, she does 7 times 2, that's 14, right? And also, the Slim Lance is lighter than the Iron Lance, which allows her to have a higher chance of her. So, I'm gonna trade with Sand here with the Iron Lance to show you the difference. With that, she has a 100% chance of doing 10. Whereas the Slim Lance would allow her to go twice. And have a chance of it. So, I'm gonna equip the Slim Lance anyway. I think we're gonna go ahead and buy one more iron sword. Yeah, 
we have to put her here. Again, she does 7 times 2. Or I could put Stan here. Now him do it and then have her push. Should be able to surround him on two sides. Yeah. And not to mention that you also have Will now, so he can attack the most this way. Okay, he has a steel axe, so that's a little bit stronger than an iron axe. So, uh, you do definitely have to be careful with that. Okay, so Saiyan can do 10 times 2. So he can finish that off. Mendes can do 6 times 2 with the Iron Sword. Or 9 times 2, so she could also finish it off. But you see that he has the chance of 31% chance of doing 15 damage, and Mendes only has 18. So do that. Or. Kent does 10, 9 times 2. So. Either or. And I already shot him with an arrow, so that would that allows me to be able to kill him in one turn. So looking at levels, I'm gonna have Linda do it. Also, you see the critical rate is 22 for the Manny Cutty, compared to two for the Iron Sword. Also, Lindus, uh, whenever you have a Lord attack the boss, there's a unique dialogue for that. Obviously, getting hit by that it makes you very vulnerable. So you want to make sure you can win that.
but who can let us, Florina? Travel with you, man, truly. I would be so, so hopeful that you're. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you, Serena. Ah! <laughs> Stay back. Don't get so close. No, I approve. We can leave Florina on our own. Or we can't leave Florina on our own. So, is it really alright if I travel with you? Of course. You're willing. All of my money was stolen, and I'm at a bit of a crossroads. I will be honored to count myself one of my decisions. This is getting stranger with every day, it's sorry. Chapter 4 An Occupation Shadow. After defeating the bandits, the mine continues westward. She and her colleagues stopped for a night at a ruined fortress. The Yenelon bandits are raged after the brethren fell to Lin's sword. They race in pursuit of their companions. Their angry footsteps sound closer and closer. This mildewy old fortress, is this the best we can do? Come well, surely you just. The bandits keep everything in turmoil around here. No one has time to worry about travelers. And there are rather a lot of us. This will be fine. Who wants to be stuck inside anyway? I prefer a place where I can feel the wind blow. As long as I'm at Lin's side, I'll be fine. And for your protection, your man at arms, Sane, will be right here by your side, ladies. Sane, both you and I are to remain awake. We will alternate the watch. Ah, yes. Your pardon, my lady. Who's there? I forgive my intrusion. My name's Natalie. I'm from a village not far from here. No. Fine, don't worry, it's from a childhood sickness. I can't travel far on it, but it doesn't trouble me much. What are you doing here by yourself? I'm looking for my husband. I heard he was in this area. He said he was going to raise money to have my leg mended. He left the village and hasn't returned. He's a kind-hearted man, but I think he might be involved in something dangerous. I got so worried. Here's a sketch of him. Or likeness at best, but his name is Storkus. Do you know of him? I'm sorry, I don't believe I've seen or heard of him. I see. If you do meet him, please give him a message. Tell him that Natalie is looking for him. I will tell him. I promise. Here they are. We finally tracked down the bandit that defeated Miguel. So they decided to hole up in this ruined fortress. Perfect. We'll wait till it gets dark and then... You're an idiot. There are only a few of them, and some are women. If we attack them at night, I'd be a laughing stock. Besides, we might hurt the women by mistake. I will not be so wasteful. You're right, Kargia. Kargiga. You're so smart. I'll avenge Mikal and get some pretty souvenirs to be. Who knows, maybe I'll be a leader after all. <laughs> because that suit spread out and encircle the place, you rogues. Let's finish this before it gets too dark to see. Surrounded and outnumbered again. Or you get used to it after a while. Hey, he said Dorcas. We need attack from the back entrance to the east. 
There's supposed to be a woman inside. I want you to capture her. Unbeknownst to him, he doesn't know this is like. Do that, and I'll increase your share. If you want gold, you'll get the job done. Bunch of women, huh? It would break Natalie's sweetheart to see me sink so low. They lend us outside the fortress. Bandits. Assistant manager, what do you think? Shall we go out and face them? No, Natalie cannot move well and that will put her in danger. Let them come to us. We'll fight here within these walls. Let's hurry take over. The command is yours. All we have to do is hold out until they tire and leave. Rest easy, Natalie. No one will harm you. Listen, everyone. Fight with caution. This is what I was talking about earlier. In this chapter, your goal is to protect a special character for a set period of time. Keep Natalie safe for seven turns. Thereby, you must survive for seven turns. Sorry, Natalie and other green units are called NPCs. They are not enemies, but they can be moved or given orders. Sometimes green units will be attacked because they are on the field of combat. Be careful not to let enemies close in on that. Focus has two entrances. That's where we must meet the enemy. I'll take the eastern door. Let's hurry you and the others guard the main entrance. When the enemy far outnumbers your group, which is all the time, it's safer to restrict the battle to smaller areas. No matter how strong an enemy is, if he's attacked on all sides, he's sure to take massive damage and fall. So, yes, so we just went out to the east. And technically, that's what she said. You can really send her anywhere, but you have to do what she says for this. So, to avoid being countered too much, you could move here. Or you could move here. That way, like the group. In case for some reason one of them fall, they have less room to. Oh, he is. More than one space away. Okay. We can move here for a moment. Here's the introduction of an axe that can attack both up close and far away. Somewhat like that picture of Natalie's husband. Sometimes you can speak with enemy characters. You, you can converse with someone, move one of your units to an adjacent space. By and large, you'll know whom to send from hence you receive in the conversation. Sometimes villages and houses can give you a clue of who you talk to. So also you can check the entire for this chapter in chapters that don't have fog of war you can scroll through the entire enemy list and get some information fights for his wife and we happen to know that his wife is in here. Hey, are you Dorcas? how do you know my name? Natalie told me, what are you doing working with these rogues? I need money. That may be, but joining up the mercenaries? It's the only way to earn gold in these rogues. I'll do anything even this. For gold, anything? Would you hurt your wife? Natalie is here. We're protecting her within the fortress. What? Money? She 
I'm so worried she came looking for you. Thank Dorcas. Would your actions please your wife? Yeah. No, I understand. I can't do this. I'm done with these bandits here and now. Yes. And I will repay you for your kindness towards Natalie. Allow me to fight for you. Perfect. So sometimes, yep, the red enemy can turn blue. Remember the weapon triangle. In this case, and eyes can attack up close and from afar. But he cut a critical, so from 11 to 33. Oh, yes, and very nice. He has a sword, but because of the surrounding area, it wouldn't be wise to switch for a lance. Switch to a lance for a turn, it would be kind of dangerous to do that. What are you waiting for? She's just a child, a girl. Girl, get more men up here now. So he sent reinforcements. I think this guy will move. I remember if you get within his range. So I'm gonna put one to support the moment.
and the reinforcements, so... This hit the is just kind of low, but I'm gonna try to attack him anyway. I'm gonna keep hitting him, so try to retreat. I think she should be here. The many five people in life. Oh, his speed went up, now he's doing hitting twice. Hope I didn't set him up to get KO'd. Ooh, ooh, that was close. Hm. Yeah, he, uh... That's the bad thing about this part of the board when you start leveling up. You start going from being able to hit once to being able to hit twice. And then, you know, leave you open a little bit. a little bit. It's turn five. We got two more turns. So maybe he doesn't move like I used to. I had a bird. And I also don't want to put her in too much danger.
say. I mean, it's another one. He has a steel axe. That would do seven times two with a twenty-three percent hit crit crit rate. And he would do thirteen the exact amount of HP I have. Even though he has a thirteen percent chance of hitting, there's a chance that he could still hit me. So so tough. You, bring me more men here right away. Weapon level is also another very important factor in this game as well, because it really affects what you can do at the end of the game. It's very important. The last turn. So because of Florina's as she's down to one health, I'm just gonna move her away for the last time. I don't think we can move her. Yeah. Just gonna move her here. Instead of using the vulnerary, I'm just gonna move her away for the last time. So now I'm kind of in blitz mode. Yeah, they should work. is not me. This is, they're not human. It's not rogues retreat or back. They need spread. Mm -hmm. 
I'm pretty much the hard one. Right You just say it for this time. Well, I spoke with the fairy. I've been able to invite us to the new game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's trying to remind us. I can't remember what his story was. Continue taking turns keeping watch. He's listening to me. Is that alright? You sure? See? Oh, or, or yes, of course. Let me warn you. If bandits sneak up on you, they'll cut you down without mercy. Do you understand that? What? Do you doubt my bravery? Am I not a knight? There's no need to worry. Right, Kent? If there's anything suspicious, we'll take care of it. Rest assured. Really? Well, I'll get some in a side. Zane. Zane's effects, and now she rushes for the water for me. It's been a while since I've done a save. Do Almost reached the goal. They're still after us? <laughs> I think we're getting away soon. Leave alive and everyone will think the Mano and Bandits have gone soft. So who cares about your reputations? Let's get them lads. No holding back just because there's one of them. I don't know. Here's who we go up against. We're certain this is the correct path. What's your point, Irk? What are you trying to say? I swear, you were not the woman I agreed to escort. What? What's that supposed to mean? I heard someone was needed to escort a frail Lycian priestess to us. Yes, and I'm that priestess. Frail? You? Sarah, you have no need of any escort <laughs> to protect you. <laughs> Even the most hardened criminal will flee in terror for five minutes in your company. I'll return your money, gladly. Now will you please go to Ostia alone? No, you're my escort, or my. You're so clean and tidy. A noble woman like myself can't be seen without a proper escort. Your personality's nothing special, but you're not bad to look at. I believe that's my line. And I have to take you all the way to Ostia? 
I only hope my nerves can endure the journey. What are you mumbling about? You're so gloomy. Hmm. Something's happening over there. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, yes. The first opportunity to get involved in trouble and right in. No amount of money is worth this. Uh. Wow, a fight! A fight! Hurt, take a look! Fighting those bandits, it's a young girl! Oh, keep your voice down! Is this even league with the she devil? Hmm? This is so wrong. Yeah, I'll take care of you with one set stroke. Eek! Erk, help me! <laughs> Sarah, behind me. You there, see if you can match me. That scream. Look, Atari, someone's over there. Sometimes you can talk to different NPCs. This is the same as talking to enemies. Yeah, the same thing. So just pay attention to your surroundings. And as the game goes on, it gets a little difficult because sometimes the characters may not show their face until later. The only way you could get it right is to play the chapter get it wrong and then realize who you need to have out. If you don't have out the unit that they know, you won't be able to defend them. That can happen later in the game, so it's something to be mindful of. I just, I happen to know who pretty much every unit can talk to throughout the entire game, but even then sometimes I forget and um, so it boils down to, do you want to restart the chapter over? and unlock the person, or do you just want to go on without them? Sometimes they can be useful to have on your team. Just happened. That's not true. Those ruffians thought that we were with you. Got us into a terrible situation. Now how are you going to get us out? If you hadn't been some medicine, we could have been avoided. Kirk, come and help these ladies. But I... Fine. Be a good boy and go fight now, Kirk. <laughs> Master, I suppose you could say. She's a little bit deluded, but she can be very helpful to the end of the game. I know, I know, I'm generous to a fault. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Praise my generosity. Anyway, that's the deal. Please drag me to him. So now you have a cleric who can heal HP. So, it's nice to have her on your team. However, recognize they can't attack. Um, they do have very good resistance so uh, if you happen to be up against someone else who is a magic wielder you can put them in the way without being worried about it because their resistance is 5 so like for instance Erx is 5 so that means if he tried to attack her he would do 0 unless he had a higher element and the next element up he would do be able to do 1 instead of six. So, they can be very useful. Gotta, uh, line them up properly. Yeah, 
They do have few HP. Uh, archers can pick them off. Their defense is not amazing. So you do want to be careful. an iron sword, so when you defeat him, you get that. I am in a forest, okay, I'm gonna have him right there. Correctly, can Dorcas move across water? I think it's because he needs to be at the next the next class in order to be able to do that. So basically with clerics, you want to heal as much as possible, even for something small, because it, uh, it takes a very long time for them to level up. So for each level, they need to use heal or mend at least 10 times to go up to the next level. So in order to get to the max level, you need to heal a number of things. is called it's called mountains. So mountains give you even more defense and avoid mm, than a fort and a fortress does. Fortress and force. Thank you. 
picked up the iron sword. Kent is almost out of his, and so is Sane. So let's take that from Sane. I'll take it and we'll give it to Sane. And I'm going to draw the archer out here. Attack both up close and afar, so if he's up against the earth, he can be close, and he will be counter attack. Here. Okay, so Javelin is a lance that you can attack both close and afar with, so that can be useful. Um, I'm going to give that to probably Saiyan. Um, I think I'm going to definitely get Will another bow. Give the clavelin to Florina. with the Manicotti, she's kind of fearless. So he can do 15, so I'm just going to wait a turn. See what happens. This side here.
integrity when this I just want to make sure. She did six times two. Let's see everyone's levels here. It's gonna be a while before they can really love. Everyone's kind of at five. I'll just have Lynn beat him again. Ah, scum. You're all scum. What an absolutely delectable creature. Oh my, are you one of Lynn's companions? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the guy being poetic. He's a little vicious. What deviousness are you contemplating now? Hee <laughs> hee. Having a person of power in your debt is never a bad thing. <laughs> I'll say. Do you think we could join? My <laughs> I can just hear her voice. <laughs> She seems like a nice person, and I would ever so much like to help her. Are you being hunted or something? An inheritance dispute. Assassins everywhere. Oh my, in that case, my healing staff and Irk's magic should come in handy. Well, I err. Sounds dangerous. Your staff and magic will be extremely helpful. Please wait here. I will go speak with Lady Landis on your behalf. Unbelievable. I think I'm gonna be ill. <laughs> Meanwhile, he is still poisoning his brother. Nothing bad to do anything to finish this scene. First the old man and now the girl. They cling to life like a mint and drowning man to a rock. Double the poison's strength. He struggles, hold him down, and pour it down his throat. Whew. Rufus. Once the girl is gone, Colleen is mine. I will let no one stand in my way. He was going ahead to the castle, but oh, here he comes now. Let us proceed to the castle. They prepare supplies for us. He's going to help us. Yeah. 
Ben and Kevin have enjoyed a story of friendship for many years. In spite for the request of our flight, we agree to lend us a strength. Looks like we've got a smooth road ahead. If we could pick up some soldiers, the road to Kalin would be that much easier. I'm truly sorry for the hardships you suffered so far. Don't be silly. You were so capable, Kent. Kent? Hmm? Oh, and so are you, saying? Of course I am. The castle awaits. This is terrible. The castle is burning. What did you say? Smoke from the castle. Hey, what are those men doing? Who are you? You, you're Lindus, aren't you? Ah! What do you... No questions. Prepare yourself. Believe you mistreat. Someone's always watching. Ah, there you go. My lady Lentis, are you alright? I'm fine. He, this man, saved me. May I ask your name? What? Why did you help me? About a second, planes were almost being attacked. I was mistaken. No, you were right. I am from Sekin. And Lynn? I'm Lynn, the daughter of Lorca Chiefman. Lorca? There were survivors? Yes. You should leave at once. A blaze has started in the castle and it's spreading. Don't be foolish and waste the life I just saved. You're from the castle? What's happening? How severe is this fire? Is the Marcus safe? The castle is under attack and the Marcus has been accosted. The man who attacked you was probably one of the martyrs. Mar, excuse me. As captain of the castle guard, it is my duty to rescue the Marcus. I see. All right, we'll help then. My lady? Uh, Naze. Ka. These brigands are after me. If they're attacking the castle, it's because of me. So I must have a good one. Sounds like you're involved somehow. Let's go. Wrath of Kutsula. Our tribes may be different. But I will not abandon a woman of Sake. Thank you, Rath. A thousand blessings upon you, and a thousand curses upon our enemy. Who did? Like a vulture waiting for the spoils, eh? Terrible. Pay up! I only the love. So don't bother me. I wouldn't dream of it. Now then, which side has the most power? See if my men can move in. Perhaps the secret passage. Secret passageway? An underground tunnel leading to the throne room. There are triggers in the barracks that will open the tunnel. Head through the passage to the throne room and rescue the Marcus. Once that's done, you can drive the enemy from the castle. Hmm. If we can release those triggers, my men and I can handle the rest. There are three triggers, though. All three need to be released for the entrance to move. But the doors to the barracks are locked. The enemy's within. If we don't get inside and finish them, we're stuck. So opening those doors is our first move. Open the three doors, reach the three triggers, and defeat the boss. Yes, there are definitely times when you make me unsure of that. That's for sure. That's definitely true. Um... Try visiting a house. Please select one. We're gonna check out that village up here in the corner. I have no need for a thief. 
Really? How do you plan on opening the bare doors? What? How did you know about Bullseye? Don't be mad. Hire me. For you, I'll even lower my normal rate. I do need those doors open. Okay, you're hired. Why did you choose to ally yourself with me? Hmm. I was watching the battle from above. Your group looked a lot more fun than the dead guy. <laughs> Pretty simple, really. You're so odd. Yokoso. Matai desu? Alright, so he's a thief, so, um. Matai desu. So they have a lockpick that allows them to open doors and chests. And they have intense speed. Speed is 11 for level 2. That's amazing. But very little defense and very little def uh, resistance. It's very possible that they will dodge most of the attacks, but also you can't always expect them to dodge anything. So uh, they also can move one more than the average unit. They all can move five. Irina can move seven because she's a Pegasus. And then Wrath can move seven. So he moves one less space than horses can. That's pretty amazing. But I guess if you're going to have the title of Thief, you have to be able to move quickly. So that's one of the triggers that we were talking about. Hit switches. And it opens that one. Yep, a high hit percentage does not mean, does not guarantee that you will hit. It means you have a higher chance of hitting. Don't forget that. Unless it's 100%. village here. So another clue, red villages indicate that there's uh, something there for you to take. Um, and the brown villages are just informational. So I'm not going to visit those because I already know what they're say, but you want to go for the villages that are red. That guarantees that you something. something or someone. These can only be used once, but anyone can use them. So, for those chapters where you need a, th you need the help of a thief or don't have one, uh, you can find door keys and chest keys. this way. Let's say we help ourselves. What do you mean, no? Don't be such a bore. If you want to win, you've got to use every means at your disposal. An ironclad rule. Yeah, no stealing's bad. I'm well aware of that. We're saving the Marquess, right? Let's just call this an advance on our reward. 
ですか<笑>はい。Change your mind. Hurrah! Treasure time, treasure time. I didn't know any better, I'd say he's a pirate. So, yeah, an angelic row increases the character's maximum HP. So, I always give it to one of the lords. In this case, I'm going to give it to Lynn. She's one of the, she's the main character who must survive every chapter, so I, I prefer to give it to her. Speechless. I am so cute, it's almost criminal. What in the world is that woman doing here? I cannot let her find the passage. So, technically, these three people know each other. Erk, Erk, Sarah, and Matthew already are. I've already been acquainted. You learned that at a later time. HP is so that is very helpful. It goes up by about seven or eight HP depending on the depending on the person. Thank 
Because he have a javelin. Oh, he does. I'm always careful because some of the bosses have a javelin and they have good skill, so they aren't likely to miss. So let's be careful with that. So, very possible. I'm gonna leave for you here, I think. So I'm gonna see if Sarah can, can get her up there in time and have Sarah. She looks us there. No, I'm gonna get that. So, um, how do I put my cursor on? Sometimes I don't like the cursor to go back to the main person. I like it to stay where I had it. Armor Slayer. That's also another very useful item. So you want to give it to someone who can actually use it. So Lentis is great with the Armor Slayer, but since she has the Manikati, which has Armor Slayer uh, specialty, I'm going to give that to Sane or Kent. This guy has major defense, so you see you can only do two. But if you check his stats, his resistance is zero. So that's why Urk can do it sometimes too. Yeah, the Manikari is all over special. It's effective against horses and armor knights. So when it's blinking, that means it's very effective. 
I'll go ahead and in. So I'm gonna make sure it is everybody. Yeah, healing is easy experience, so I'm always checking. So yeah, so the Manicati with it being extra special, unless I give it to I give it to anyway. No one else can really do much of anything. Or Dorcas, he does have an axe, so he might be able to do something. So see, he can take him out. You have a lot of options, really. It just boils down to who you want to look up next. So I think I will let go of this one. Remember the weapon triangle. Final one. We should be good to go. We're in passageway. Good work. We'll take Wrath. We'll let Wrath take over from you. Damaged in your family's petty inheritance dispute. And my apologies. When I heard that Lady Madeline's daughter was in trouble, I thought to lend my assistance. I find I've changed my mind. I withdraw my offer. Marcus Arafin, you have. You gave me your word, my lord. Your name is Kent, is it not? You failed to inform me of one most vital detail. What do you mean? This girl does resemble Lady Madeline, but I didn't expect to see her so tainted with the blood of suffering. When you feel the Marquise of Helen should be would be trouble to meet this nomadic mongrel. Ooh. Same hold. My apologies, my lord Marquis. Your man is poorly disciplined. Please, if you would grace us with your aid. He's ill in a bed. Question whether he will survive to be this. Steaming. I will not accept aid from one who disparages my heritage. Let's talk. My comments do not reflect on you, but he's from some of the same planes. Of course, as long as we bend our knee to you, you care not where we're from. But when an equal comes from my lands, what conceit? Wrath, how can you speak to me like that? I have treated you well, have I not? I have paid you well. I have treated you better than your kind deserves. You will never interest me. My service ends here. See, my grandfather was ill. You must hurry.
will persevere. It will never break my spirit. Wow, what is it? What are you? I overheard the Marquess talking to myself. Then of the Lorca, proud daughter of Seven. I would join you. I would add my strength to yours. Really? And this, I want you to take it. This is cold. It's too much. I can't accept it. I have no need for it, and if it will help you. But I cannot take back something once offered. Wrath, I thank you. Okay. And that's the end of chapter six. Settings abroad. Get up and get out. We're a plague on decent fault. I say not a sorry to no. No, that is demo e. I say that not as good as well. Sorry to no is over. Yes, can I help you? You and your friends, are you mercenaries? And if we are, I need your help. Lady Lindis, you mustn't let your guard down, not even for a child. Oh, how true. I know. Forgive me, but we're in a hurry. Is there someone else you can ask? There's no time. Ninian's been... It's my sister. Some men have taken her away. Did you say your sister's been accosted? See... That's right, by some cruel, awful men. I don't know what I'll do without Ninian. Milady Lindis, we must help them. Nonsense, we haven't the time. The Marquess is ill, as we've heard, we must proceed. And I... I want to help this child. Milady? I'm worried about my grandfather, of course. But this... I cannot stand by and let a child be taken from her home. I'm sorry, you what meant to say. I am your loyal retainer. You owe me no apologies. You must do what your heart dictates, my lady. I will follow you no matter where the road may lead. Thank you. Such noble speech, ever the true knight that man. Ah, well. You're in luck, laddie. Let's go get your sister. Will you lead us to the men who've done this? Uh-huh. They're really tough, so be careful. Leave them to us. We're pretty tough ourselves, right? Me das yo. Ain't supposed to kill you, but we sure can riff you up. Yeah. Who do you think you are? Let the boy's sister go. So you want to help the kid, huh? What a shame. You're going to die for something that doesn't concern you. You think so, do you? Do we look so meek to you? I think you're in for a terrible shock. 
Do not mistake my weakness for weakness. Stupid girl, you regret those words. Take him down, boys. So yeah, now that we have more units, we have a preparation screen. So that can be very helpful. This is the ideal time to decide who you want to have out in battle. You can't have everyone. You have to choose. You can also take a look at the map and decide. So from what I see here, honestly, Dorcas is not the kind of person I would like to have out this board. Because of his uh, very low resistance. However, he does have a hand axe. And he can attack from a distance. Everybody has certain uses. So it's up to you to choose. Oh, you can also change the formations. So, I don't think there's much uh, use of a thief on this board. So, um, I'm not going to bother with it. I remember what I said about villages. If you don't get to it in time, then he gets to it. The village will be destroyed. It might be this guy, actually. They give you... They always give you enough time to get to it, but it's very easy to lose track of it. So you don't want to do that. So I'm definitely going to put out Florina. I'm not going to use Urk either, because of the guys here, these guys do dark magic, and it's, um, it's just like there's a weapon triangle, there's a magic triangle. Light beats dark, dark beats earth, and earth beats light. So you want to be mindful of that. I don't think it's called earth, it's just what I call it, because you're using earthy elemental substances. So fire, thunder, perfect winds, Excalibur, stone. So yeah, you know, it's kind of like... Yeah. It might not actually be called that, though. Mm. So, yeah, I'll take Perk out. I'll put Wrath in. And we don't need math, so... You also want someone to hold on to something that's not going to be out, you can do that too. Just don't forget to put it up for the next one. So we'll hold on to that door key, we don't need it on this board. I'm going to give one of those bows to half. So the short bow is kind of like the Slim Lance. It's uh, lighter, easier to strike twice with. So as the game progresses, you'd have to be very careful with that. The heavier your uh, weapon is, it can decrease your avoid, your skill, and you'll be more open to being attacked. And sometimes you can be attacked twice because of the weight of the item that you Something to name my left. Yeah, keep that, keep that armor slayer with Kent. We're probably not going to need it for a while. Yeah, keep that in his position. Um, I'll let Lynn hold on to it for now. So everybody's got everything traded. Do a quick save. Mm. I was trying to save, I don't think I can do it from there. It's a quick out. Yeah, there we go. So 
there. Cavalry in front. And let's go. See, we're facing a, sham uh, a shaman. I've heard that practitioners of dark birds are fearsome foes. We have to be careful. Not dare this, huh? Is it dare? 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 Itsu? Oko? Yeah, that is it. That was at the end when a child came seeking help. The innkeeper was afraid to get involved. He was unpleasant. I wasn't afraid of him. I'm used to being treated that way. That's awful. May I please lend you my services? I truly wish to help the boy, if only a little. Of course. I'm putting Eddie up a little. The blessings of Saint Ellen. Uh, is that Elamine? Elamine? Man, learning other languages really messes up the pronunciation of English words. Yes, yeah, so he... So he knows light. Light magic. Light, of course, we play. Bards are useful to have around. A bard? You mean you're a minstrel? There's no place for a ballad or <laughs> that's true. You can make you move twice. His speed, when you max out his level, is insane. So, I always, I try to farm him leveling up, other, or playing his uh, bard, so that he can level up. Be very useful. Because it's a mountain. So I'm gonna put him here. Put a little bit of a barricade there. in this. So you have armories and then you have vendors. Ar uh, vendors normally have magic related stuff, so um, I'm probably going to buy another heal or say, but I'll uh, have her come to the shop instead. Yeah. 
Yes, you see, so it's this guy. He's about maybe three or four turns away from destroying the village, so you want to be careful with that. I did, I'm not going to do it this time, but what I did was I did the max amount of turns possible to get him to level 30 um, all on this chapter so that later in the game he will be much easier to protect. So you can do that. There's nothing wrong with doing that. It does take a little while to do it because it's only 10 experience per play. An iron axe is going to give an iron axe. So you can do 11 times 2 or 10 times 2 with critical. The higher the level, the faster your weapon level gets in. Send him over there to protect the village. Keep him up his lance for right now. The Pegasus Knights are good against me too, so. It's your water can be very useful if you know you don't have someone with resistance. That's trying to defeat a boss or a powerful enemy. You can use that to increase your resistance for three turns. It's three turns. Yeah, it grows weaker each turn. So it starts out as plus seven and it decreases. Builder, a sword, that's end magic two. Now I'm going to sword of the range of this guy, right? Then, yeah. Wait. Yeah, that's right.
probably gonna try to attack Math, which is fine. particular chapter the goal is to defeat this guy, not necessarily to seize the throne, so it ends after you defeat him. So I'm not going to do it yet, but yeah, Lucius can pretty much handle this guy by himself without a real threat. So actually I'm going to go ahead and get it started. It is possible that he could critical him, so uh, I would like to uh, get the experience of mystery and then end the chapter but it might not come out. We'll see. experience for Sarah. The thing is, he's on a mountain, so that makes him very difficult to look at. So, my best bet probably would be in this. Yeah, no. can attack with twice, so I'm not even gonna bother. And he's on the fortress of the gate, so he has even more avoid. So I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna declare that. And he's gonna handle this next step. And he heals as well, being on the fortress. Okay, let's see. I mean, I need 
needs to do something. We'll give her a little bit more experience. Before I end it. Well, that now is getting a more bit of a Say that Anata wa Anata no Kaza do Kodes, da? Oh, we must give chase. What if they're already. Are you looking for this girl? Hey! Is that Roy? Well, not quite, but it looks like him, doesn't he? I'll be right back. Hope you are enjoying the stream. I love this game.
All right, I'm back. Let's go. Oh shoot, I didn't make to skip the cutscene. I don't think he really says that much, just that where he's from, and we'll find that out later. And then he tells her his story, basically, so. Or she tells him her story. And he happens to know, by the way, his name is Eli Wood, and he happens to know Lynn's grandfather. Father's good friend. Saying later, please. I've lost my ring. Not Nini's grace. The very one. It was a keepsake from our departed mother. There's no other like it in the world. And now we have lost it to those villains. There's nothing we can do. I think might prove to be too strong for us. What should we do? So basically, I finished that chapter within a short enough amount of turns to be able to get a side quest. And they're very hard. Yes, yeah, side quests are very difficult. Once you begin it, you cannot go back and decide to, that you don't want to do it anymore, so. It won't affect your ranking or anything. Um, you don't have to do it. So if you don't do the side quest, it's as if... Later on, the story proceeds as if you did, and then they got the ring back, so. I'm gonna do it there.
Okay. This side quest is a little difficult. Let's take it one turn at a time. Side quest, just take your time and complete the mission. Sometimes it helps to defend. By the way, she is very strong and very deadly. You won't fight her till way later. Unless there's a side quest I haven't encountered before. take a look at the map. I forgot how... Oh, okay. I remember this one now. Yeah, this one can be very tricky. Um, Thunder, you want to be very careful with. It's very easy for them to get critical shots on you. And if they do uh, 8 or 9 damage, and none of my units have more than 29 HP, it's an instant kill. So you really want to watch out for those. Instant KO. So there is a thief here, so you're basically racing to get this chest. And he can also steal from you as well, as you can steal from others. So. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't want to use Lucis this time around. I'm going to take Perk out, keep Neils in. We got a loaf.
Alright, let's see here. In this chapter before, where Florina has gotten critical, but her resistance is so good I don't have anything to worry about. It only did like 6 damage or something like that. So his magic is at 1, and her resistance is 6. So there's nothing to worry about there, really.
you can use Sarah as a distraction because her resistance is five. You wouldn't be able to do anything to her. You would be able to attack her twice, but it would only do zero damage. So you can use her as a distraction sometimes too. Critical. And he missed. Now sometimes reinforcements will come from there. I can't remember if it's an archer or not, but I don't think he's going to come just yet. So we're kind of safe for right now to straddle along the wall without any uh, artifacts. Yeah, this wall right here can be broken down and it has 20 HP on the wall. So... He might run away. I was hoping I could get his lockpick. I don't really need it, but I just wanted to show you that it's something that you can do. He can steal from you and he can steal from him. away he might so 
I'm gonna save our javelin and have Will get some XP here. And then this this way by herself. Yeah, he ran away, so I didn't get a chance to get him. But, um, I could have basically taken his lockpick. Not that I'll need it for the rest of the game, but that's something that you can do later in the game. If you're running low on lockpicks, you can take a bunch of lockpicks from other things. So, something to keep in mind. So it's no biggie. Careful with these two right here. Let's see if I can deal the first blow. He has a steel sword. He has nine. a steel sword. Defense is seven. Okay, I'm gonna put him a little bit in harm's way here. But it might work out just Seven. His speed is ten. Okay, not a whole lot. So that should be good. Let's turn. Mm. 
seven. And that failed, the consequences are two. I was expecting him to attack Corvina. I meant to... I didn't mean to put him there. I did, I'm realizing that now. Oops. Um... An arrow. Risky. Any a little bit of a critical hit that could have been very bad. Has a steel sword, so I'm gonna leave him to Arena, Wrath, and
you see that? He can do six, right? But he has a 1% chance of doing a critical, so it's possible that he could. So it's better not to attack first. Let him attack first. Somehow Sam doesn't have any crit chances. So go ahead and have him attack first. Mess. Oh, we go right there. And then done. the ring and swear us this oath. You must promise to leave these two alone. I have your vow, I'll spare your life. Failure means death. Poison is of his own life. These are no common brigands. This man is trained by a well-organized group. Vortex of Strategy. Oh, yes, I remember this chapter. Danger approaches. What did you say? I don't see anything, are you sure? I feel it too. I'm sure of it. Ah, milady, don't move. What then? Where did this bolt come from? They have a ballista. Lord Lundgren is getting serious. Deploying siege engines is no mean feat. What is a ballista? It's a weapon designed for long distance attacks. Only archers can use them, but they can be devastating. Florina, you must stay aground. Do not take to the air. The ballista would target you in an instant. Is there a way to combat it? The safest course is to use someone with good defenses bait so the enemy wastes arrows. Then you can walk up and knock the fool in the head. Will, can you use a ballista? I've never tried, but it's just a really big bow, right? I should be able to figure it out. 
All we can ask is that you try. Let's see what we can do. Uh, Lady Linda Satari, I have some minor business to attend to. I'm unable to join you. If you need any of my possessions, please take me. Alrighty. Now I think we're good. This map look like uh I'm gonna um Okay, so this is the chapter. Remember the weapon triangle I told you about? So, on this chapter, reavers are introduced. An axe reaver is a lance that can best an axe. So it reverses the triangle, basically. So, if you have an axe reaver and someone with a sword attacks, then they have the advantage instead of you. So you do have to be very careful where you use them. Same with Lance Reaver. A Lance Reaver, a sword that can beat a lance, but if someone with an axe attacks you with a Lance Reaver, they will have the upper hand. And Sword Reaver, same thing. Normally sword beats axe, but in this case, the axe would beat the sword, and the lance could beat the axe. So it can... You have to do a lot more planning before you start a map, especially as it gets so much harder and harder. So, I think... Mm, let's see. Nails, Wrath... Nothing will be joining us. I don't think Lucy's is going to be that much help this point. There is one shaman over there, but I don't really... I'm not going to lose him. Mm -hmm. I'm not really feeling an arc for this level either. Um, I didn't really use him too much until later, and it's way later. Yeah, Florina might not be good to have out either. Mm. Once, once you have control of the ball, it is. But yeah, let's see the next one. And you also don't have to use all night units, you can use less. Go ahead and put them up.
and also movies. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, the, the idea behind that would be really good. I'll have regular. So let's start with seeing here. Oh, and you can also check the range of it. He doesn't move, but he could. That's how far he can attack. here to uh yeah just normal stuff in that um I think we're pretty good on everything right now. Bill has a bow, right? Yeah he's still got 39 this is left. Not a whole lot of moving for the first time. So I used the water there. It gave me plus seven resistance last turn, and now it's six. Everybody wait a couple more turns till they draw them out. Yeah, their defense is 7 and 7. Yeah, I'm gonna just have those two. Until we can get to the archer.
Okay. So now we have a Reaver, and you know, like I was saying earlier, the Reaver reverses the weapon shrine. So you want to be very careful with that. Got him. Alright, now we can advance.
going to let them, they're probably going to go after him. I want to draw their attention away from attacking Kent with a sword because he has a lance. He, or he has a sword and they have a lance. I still went after him. We're trying to get rid of him. Sorry about that. Rose on me there. Mm. Oh, it's okay. Watch the axe reaver guy. Okay, he can't. Good. One time a sword can beat a lance. One time an axe can beat a sword. <laughs> Yeah, so the last emulator I had, it did freeze when I got close to the end. I'm hoping that doesn't happen this time, but it has happened in the past.
Ooh, one left. Uh, I don't think that's gonna hit him, but I'll try. Yep, missed. Reaver and I have a lance. One time a lance can be an axe. Yep. As you notice, they still have that critical hit rate there. It's still possible to get critical. He's got an axe reaver. See, that's the thing that scares me. They still have that small percent chance of getting a critical. This what I it makes me kind of nervous. So, and again, you can still get hit, but it just you have a better chance of winning the battle. He has an axe reader, right? Okay. higher chance of critical. Oh, this.
Hmm, there's an imposter. That's right, I forgot. Someone claiming to have the blood of relation. It means people are waiting for two traitorous knights and a baseborn child to appear. Yep. That's the thing, when you're dealing with someone who can spin a story, innocence means nothing. Branded as traitors, pretenders to the throne. Undergrin has sent. Man, you can get anyone to believe anything if you lie good enough. It's ridiculous. He calls for reinforcements to put an end to the imposters. If the other realms of Lysha choose to act, Lan will never see Kellen alive. Then places her faith in Elagwood and waits. First kind of lying is a mission. A mission when you leave something out, like the fact that he's been poisoning his brother. But if you mentioned that, no one would have believed you. So Eli Wood helped uh, at least the area to be neutral in the affair so that allows them to not have to fight so many people considering that they've been branded traitors so okay this this level is difficult um yeah I don't like this one weapon level isn't high enough. Is this? Okay. Yeah, uh... Saiyan appears to favor the lance over the sword. Yeah. Okay, this level gets interesting.
me quick save and then I think I've got everything ready. That we are thieves, <laughs> you must can see through fog. Follow me, everyone. Yeah, you can go to level 20, that's the highest. But you can change your class when you reach level 10, so here's where they introduce class changes. So you need to be at least at level 10, and you need to have the... whatever item is specific to the person and what they can do. So, if this was hard mode, I would save it until I got him leveled up higher and then use it. But they make you use it right away at level 12. and he can use access now, so... Yeah, he is very useful. Um, he can block just about anything. So, I like to start him out over here. Covering the bridge. Keep Florina here to keep enemies from coming there to control a little bit.
These can dodge almost anything, but you don't want to get carried away with it, though. Here's where it gets interesting. So, you can't tell when more enemies are coming, you don't know what's happening really over there.
So the torch uh, is extra OP for a thief. They can already see very far, but if they use the torch, you can see even farther. So I usually give torches to, yeah, anyone like him. Again, not invulnerable to being hit, just low percent chance. It's still possible. Should be good. Just out of his range. I think I see any more enemies coming out. I want to make sure. Okay, I think we're in the clear now.
Well, in case you were wondering why I'm leaving her here, if you're blocking this, the enemy can't come out from it. So I think it makes the chapter a little bit easier that way. Yep, I think we're in the clear now. Wrong person. We are in the clear. All we gotta do is get down there.
I already know he can win the against the boss, but I don't want him to eat up that experience with someone else. Hammer isn't really for these guys. Let's see, who do I want to take out? Mm -hmm. See there. Two times two. Okay. Um, I have a sword weaver.
Okay. But now that he has the axe out, time for me to blitz him. That's what I was waiting for. has been seized. Awful. Thank you all for watching.
Oh, uh, okay, I'm back. So, uh, you might want to get used to hearing this song because every chapter after chapter 14 is... This is the song that plays in the background. The boards are harder and they take hours to finish. I'm like, so dead serious. It gets so hard. Chapter 15 is kind of like sort of like the halfway mark for the story and the intensity really the difficulty in trying to save everyone and trying to go through the whole game through the whole chapter without losing anyone it gets really difficult let's finish chapter 10 Let's go! Final chapter, and you can't, I think you can put out everyone for this one. So, uh, I happen to know what happens on this one, so I'm probably going to do something a little bit different. So the goal is to seize the gate, right? So... I happen to know a fast way to doing it. Um, the thing is, so you can go to this village over here, but it's like, this is the last chapter of this section, so I don't even know if you'll even be able to really use it. I can't remember what did you get. It's some kind of sword. Um. Oh, it's a lance. It's a, a heavy spear. A heavy spear, and that can be really useful against uh, heavily armored knights like these two. So, uh, yeah. So, I've never actually done this on a stream before, so this is what I'm going to do. wonder if I can make this work. Mm, it might be too risky. You know what, I'm gonna try it. Let's see what happens. Quick save here. And let's go. Oh, that's why I like doing this, because it rains. Yep. 
So that slows his movement down to just a couple spaces. I should be able to grab her before he can get to her. in time. Hmm, he has a javelin. Should I risk that? No, I shouldn't. Go back for one turn. to say I remember reinforcements coming so Remember reinforcements coming, so I'm glad I pulled back there. now he so that's good so he's going to attack this town most likely unless it's too risky I know what the item is I'm probably not going to use it anyway so it's fine Probably could take him out with her, but he has a javelin, and her defense isn't all that great. So.
Oh, that was so close. So yeah, that's what happens if you don't get to a village in time. Four times two. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna work. I remember having her at a much higher level too when I got to this board. So uh, let's see what happens. I've already gotten this far, so. I have neither pity nor mercy for you. Prepare yourself. Yeah, so that's oh, she got two! Oh! This just might be possible. Only thing is, he heals himself each turn with the uh, being on the fortress there. I have a really good I have a really good bad idea. I don't know if I should do it or not. I don't know what the likelihood of surviving this is. Mm. Thank you. 
Hmm. What are the chances of her getting two more criticals? change up the plan for a second here but hopefully not for too long as he's going to keep healing Really nice if she got a critical. Sweet, she got a critical. Yeah. Cool. Okay, on that note, Florina can take both of them on easily. Oh, we got rid of everybody on the map. Huh. Sweet. We're just three people. Shoot, if it rains. Uh, I might not be able to move away. Ooh, just enough.
thing. It's gonna be healing his power. Twelve uses of that sword left. Let's see if I can make it happen. Fifteen. All right. Oh, almost. Almost got him. Okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, um... Ten uses left. Okay. Almost. Whatever you do, beware the javelin. He can attack you from one space away. easier to do this for it. Oh, yep, still going at it. How much HP do I have? Okay. Oh, she missed!
you know, what I normally do, I usually try to get Sarah to heal so much, and I try to have meals at max level two normally before I end this chapter, knowing what comes next. So, you can do that, you don't have to. So it is possible to do it that way. It's just easier because you can get Florina to fly across the mountain, right? And then you saw how the archers and everyone tried to come up on me, but all of the forest right there, it slows them down so you can pick them off one at a time. So you just gotta be really careful and you gotta remember that he can attack from one space away too, he has a javelin. So the good thing is if you get him to pull out the javelin, the Manikati will do more and she'll have a higher chance of a crit rate too, so. But I didn't want to risk it on Florina and Sarah because they don't have their defense. Yeah, it's nice to have her at at least level 10 by this chap. This comes in handy later. Give her a little more experience. We're yep, still going at it. I think this is going to be the last bit for right now. I need to bang out my workouts here. Piston back.
It's just, I'll miss you. When I found you unconscious on the plains, I had no idea we would be together for so long. You've helped us so much, and I'm sure you've learned all you can from us. You'll do just fine on your own. I have the utmost faith that you'll be a master technician. I'm oh, sorry. That's from someone who's seen you at work. Well then, take care. I, I hope to see you again. I'm sure that I will someday. Yeah, thank you. This game is a lot of fun. I don't think I've ever played it the same way two times in a row. You just, it depends. You do things a little bit differently every time. The only thing is, uh, the Manicotti will break if you use it, uh, all 45 times. So, uh, spoilers, there is a staff later in the game called the Hammerend that allows you to, uh, it allows you to restore the amount of uses back to the sword. So I like to hold on to that. I can't quite remember where I get it exactly in the game. But man, it gets really hard after this chapter. Yes, okay, save progress. And then, yes, I will. So now, uh, we met Eli Wood earlier. Uh, now you are shifting to his story. Um, he becomes the main character. However, that doesn't dismiss the fact that anyone who was a lord must survive. So it, it's his story. But Lynn and Eli Wood must survive every every chapter. Oh, 
Oh, and Hector. That's right. And so Eli Wood and Hector are really good friends. So ultimately, the three people who pretty much must always survive is Lynn, Hector, and Eli Wood. And then at some point, then Nils also becomes very important as well. Nils and Ninian, they must survive as well. And Lord Athos for way later, as you know what I'm talking about. I guess I have been recording for a little while, so. I've been recording for a little while, so it gets a little moody there. Sage Athos, that's who I was referring to. He's retired in the wasteland of Nevada Desert. It really does get a little moody after five hours. So that's uh, Elowit's father, Lord Elbert. He has mysteriously disappeared. And the people who supported him at his side, so that's really suspicious. A month has passed without word, and someone's spreading rumor that he's dead, right? So. Of course, Eli Webb believes his father is still alive. That starts his long journey. Marcus is dope, man. He's great to have on your team. is pretty reliable. I have to say, he is pretty reliable. He's not the strongest, but he can definitely hold a line for a while.
Or Eva with Coco Commander Marcus. Bye. The village is under attack. It's bandits. Uh, I think Rebecca's probably one of my most favorite characters. If you get her leveled up, she becomes unstoppable. Unstoppable, unbeatable, and she never misses with her role. Like, never. As always, you are outnumbered. Four to ten or something like that. So this is where Eli's Eli Wood's story begins. Um I I think that this is where I'm going to end my stream for the day. I need to get this workout. Testing back this morning, so and I got a few things I gotta get through. Yeah. But this is a great game. If you like RPG strategy, it's very, very difficult. I'm telling you. It's fun, but as the game goes on, there are some boards that are like grueling because you know you have to finish. Or, um, some of them are defeat every enemy. And that can be hard. And then even especially the ones where you had to defend for a certain amount of turns, those can be overwhelming as well. So just take your time, know the weapon triangle, and try not to put anyone in harm's way. So that's the best way to go about it. Yeah. So thank you all for watching uh, Fire Emblem Reka no King. And I will be streaming... Hmm, I'm not sure when I'll stream this game next. I started Mother 3 yesterday, and I did Fire Emblem today, so we'll see. Um, and I've been wanting to play Kirby Nightmare and Dream, so I might do that too. We'll see. I'll scroll through my list of games here. Uh, yeah, thanks again for watching, and I will see you all next time. Ciao.